how's everybody doing today? So today I'm going to show you how you can trim, cut, crop, rotate, and blur in your Wondershare Filmora video editing software. So let's go ahead and get started. So basically the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your Wondershare Filmora. Now I'm using this on a MacBook, but it's very, very similar to a Windows PC. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to drag and import a video onto the timeline. So let me go ahead and look for a video here that I can drag and drop. Uh, let's see here. Okay, here's a video here that I did. Let me drag and drop this onto the timeline. Now the thing is, this is a regular timeline here, but we can also drop it onto the PIP timeline down here, the picture in picture. So basically, if I if I drop it in this timeline here, basically I can do this. I can drop it down here, and I can drop another video here, the next PIP line here. And basically, you can do like a picture in picture here, kind of like this. You know, this is a different way to do like a multiple screens if you want to put uh, multiple videos on here. Uh, this is actually better to do it this way. They do have an option to do a split screen, but if you do it this way, you can play both videos instead of like only one video audio. You can play, you can play them both simultaneously. You can even add like eight different videos in here and have all the audios playing at the same time at any location start and finish as you want even if i did this let me just do this really quick uh, let me see if this is a video okay there's another video here let me go ahead and drag another one down here on another pip line okay now check this out now i can put three videos in here let me go ahead and make this smaller just like that now if i push on play you can hear all the volume on it nexus 6p and my samsung C galaxy to do it. just like that so if, and if i wanted to mute one of them i can just basically uh, double tap your trackpad or if you're on a Windows PC you can just right click and you can basically um, go down to audio and if you wanted to get rid of the uh, the volume you can just scroll all the way back and that basically mutes it okay anyways so let me go ahead and, go ahead and delete these really fast and let's go back to the trimming so let me just go ahead and throw a video on here I'm going to put this in a regular timeline layer right here. And you can see that this video here is about 2 minutes and 10 seconds long. So let's trim it. So basically, if you want to trim it, you know, you can just go to the very end here. Make sure that this uh, video is highlighted. Go to the end here until it turns into this little, um, uh, little black like icon. Press and hold your mouse pad and just move it back. Just like that. You want a little bit shorter, move it back like that. Or you can go to the front over here and you can do the same thing as well. We can basically grab it here and we can cut the beginning part of it just like that. Okay. But basically what we're doing when we're doing the trim is we're actually doing like a split. So for instance, if, um, well, split is basically like a cut. So if I was, for example, if I wanted to trim it all the way down to the minute and 10 seconds here, Rather than like trimming it, if I did a cut, if I move this red arrow right here and then I cut it, and then I go ahead and delete this, this is the same thing as if I trimmed it. I grabbed it here and I moved it all the way back. Okay, so let me just go ahead and go to the beginning here. Nothing on the screen. The power button does absolutely. Okay, so I basically trimmed it. I took the beginning off and I took a little bit of the end off and I showed you how to do the cut or basically a split. Let's do a crop here. Okay, now I can go ahead and crop this entire video. So what I can do is basically there's a crop icon uh, right here. So click on that crop icon. And then from here you can go ahead and resize this, grab one of the corners. Let's see here, just grab one of these corners until you see the arrows on the on both sides, and then you can just drag and drag it just like that, and you can leave it wherever you want. Um, on your screen. Now I think with the Windows PC when you do this you have like a different pane field so you can see exactly what it's going to look like uh, when you do this but it's still each of them is very very similar. So anyways let me just go ahead and go back a little bit more. So let's just say I want to get closer into like my phone right here. Let me just click on OK. Now this entire video see now it's all super close but what else you can do if this is one part that you want to zoom in on like let's say you want to zoom in really close on here. What we can do is we can go ahead and cut it right here. And then let's say we just want it 
up to this part to be super uh, zoomed in. So let me cut it again. And now if I, let me highlight this little um, clip here we just made. Now let me clip on the, um, the crop um, uh, icon. And now let's go in a little bit closer now. So let me go ahead and get that, there's two arrows on here. Just like that. Now let me move in and let's just say I want to get even closer to my phone like that. And then press on OK. And now this part even zoomed in even more. So let me just go ahead and like rewind just a little bit. And now let me go ahead and play the video. It's the power button. Here, here's the home button. One. See now two, it's like even closer. Three, I'm gonna press and, and hold. Now it's getting ready to go back out. And I still have it Man. plugged in as well. Now it looks a little bit choppy, but once you render it, basically after you uh, save it or export it, and then you play it over again, it's going to be nice and smooth. Okay. So that was the um, uh, cropping. So how about rotate? Okay. So let's say uh, this part right here. We wanted to rotate it. So basically what you do here is, let me like right click here. Um, well, you double click if you're on a MacBook, if you're on a uh, Windows PC, you can just basically um, uh, right click and go down to rotate, or you can simply go to the icon, which is um, right here, this icon right here, the rotation icon. So make sure the clip that you want is highlighted. Click on the uh, rotate button and then then from here we have these. So if I want to rotate to the right, I can tap it just like that. You can see it in the uh, in the viewing area, just upside down. We can even flip the image left to right, just like this. Looks like it's on my left hand. It now looks like it's in my right hand. We can um, flip it up and down, just like that, upside down, right back up. And of course, from here, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, saturation. You can even increase the speed, or you can slow it down. And you click on audio here as well. You have a pitch. Basically, the pitch, if you decrease the pitch, it'll kind of like your, it make your voice like a little bit deeper. And then you can fade in, fade out. Basically, fading in, fading out. Basically, what that means is like, uh, let's say that you're playing like music. So if you fade in, as soon as the uh, music starts, it'll start really low, then it'll start rising and then it'll um, get to the point where it stays um, steady. And fade out is basically for the end of like um, a video or end of a song when you fade out. So basically when it goes like five seconds or so before the end of the music, it'll start decreasing. So basically it matches uh, perfectly with your uh, video. All right, so what's next here? So we have um, crop, rotate, blur. Okay, let's do some blurring. Let's say you have like email addresses or passwords or something like that you wanted to blur. So let me just yeah, try to so find have it plugged it in as well. well All right, let me go back over here. It's the home button. One. What is now? I'm not sure which option is going to work on my phone, but I'm going to try them both. Okay, this actually isn't a good video here. So let me just do this. Let me go ahead and let me bring down another video here. Uh, let's see here. That's an image right there. There's another image. Okay, this is okay. Okay, this is perfect right here. So let me go ahead and bring this video. I'm gonna drag and drop this video down here. So basically, what I just basically did was just merge these two videos. So these two videos are all one timeline. Once this one video is done, then this next video is gonna start. Okay, but I just imported or I just dragged this one drop down here just to show you how to blur something. So let me just um, move down and let me find some text where I can use a class something. ten. You're not going to see a difference. Okay, so let's say, okay, so this here pops up here. Let's just say I want to go ahead and blur out this uh, SD card, which is Samsung 128 gigs. Let's say I want to blur that out. So basically what you do is, um, well, first I need to cut it here. So let's just say that I just pop up my SD card out right now, and now I want to blur it. So I'm going to go ahead and press on the, uh, the cut here. And then let's say uh, the SD card disappears. Okay. Let's just say the SD card like, disappears right about here, okay? And of course, you have these little areas here where you can move like each frame. See, I can keep going up, I can go back. So basically, technically what I want to do is keep going up until it disappears, okay? So let's just say it disappears here. So let me go ahead and click on the cut button. So right here in this, in this frame right here, basically, I want to blur out this. So what I do from here is I want to go under um, Power Tools, okay? So if you look on your 
You can see an icon here that says Power Tools. I think on the Windows PC, I think it's all the way on the right. The icon might look a little bit different from what I remember. But you can also go to the clip and you can uh, right click and you can go to Power Tool down here as well. Okay, so basically what we do is we're going to blur. So go to Power, Pool, Power Tools and from here what you want to do is you want to click on Mosaic. And then from here you want to click on Apply Mosaic to Clip. And then we're going to click on Add. Okay, so here is the blur. And... We want to blur that out. Now the thing is, you can see the percentage here is at 20. If I move all the way to 100%, basically it's kind of just like a big block, just like that, okay? But if you have an image or something like that, you kind of want to show them something's there, but not exactly. So we can keep it at like, I mean, even five. I, I use five hiding my email addresses and passwords and stuff like that. And then from here, we can like resize this as well, whatever size we want. So if we wanted to kind of match it like, perfectly we can just do like that let me press on play sd cards are very quick if you use a class 10 then, you're not going to see there it. you go now another cool thing is too is if you had another area like let's say this um so you see my samsung logo here let's say you wanted to um, blur that out or pixelate that out as well you can click add again and you can do the same thing you can go ahead and cover that little part up as well and let me press on play see a difference if, for and example now, if you both of this like blurred now the thing is if it's if it's a moving object like let's say you want to blur a face out um, there is a blurring um, option in this um, in this filmora but the thing is the blurring for the face you know as someone's like moving it's not like perfect it'll like you know you're still gonna be able to see the person maybe even for that half a second people will be able to pause and see your face still so the way to really do it, the professional way to do it, is you have to go frame by frame if someone's like moving. I, I have a video on how I blurred out one of my faces somewhere. You know what? I'll put the link below on how to blur a moving face out. Uh, this way no one's going to know who that individual is. Okay, so from here, you would and see this right. This blur here is basically static. It's not really moving around much. So let me just click on OK. And that's pretty much it for this video, but there's a lot of other things that you can do in Renishare Filmora. I mean, you can clone. Uh, let me show this. Let me show you some, you can make intros, outros. Uh, let me show you some intros, outros here really quick. Um, here's a, here's a. <laughs>